this morning. This is our pet of the week this morning, folks. He is at the Humane Educational Society, and he's being so good just sitting here. He's only a year and a half old, but we're going to learn more right now. We have Chris and Emily here in the studio with Ziggy this morning to tell us a little bit more about him. How are you guys? Great. Thanks for being here this morning. Oh, we love it. First of all, tell us a little bit more about Ziggy. Um, so Ziggy, he's actually been my office dog slash foster and comes home with me. Um, he is super sweet. He likes other dogs. He goes to play groups at the shelter. He's house trained, likes cats. Um, I mean, he's the whole package. <laughs> he really is, and he's so sweet. And you look at his sweet little face, you can see his teeth there. <laughs> but he has got the best personality. He, he really just likes to be with people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he absolutely does. And there's so many animals that really need adoption and fostering at the Humane Educational Society. And you do a lot of that and help with that program. Yes, I do. Um, we have about maybe 200 animals in foster right now. Um, pretty much half the population of the shelter is in foster care at any given time. Um, without foster parents, we would be way too full. And so it's been like, I mean, it's literally life saving um, for all these fosters to come in and, and help us. Absolutely. Now you guys have a big event that is we coming do. up this weekend. Tell us a little yeah. bit about it, Chris. Yeah, so uh, the Chattanooga, we teamed up with the Chattanooga Football Club. Oh, Whoops. <laughs> there you go. He's also a football player or soccer player. But uh, yeah, it's on uh, this Sunday's match against the LA Galaxy. Um, they're doing the cause of the match and the cause is HES. So um, all tickets sold uh, for that game are going back to the Humane Educational Society. Um, we'll also have a little halftime segment at the, at the game or the match. And uh, we'll have about 47 volunteers there and lots of animals and opportunity to learn about our foster program. And it's so important that you have events like this that take yes. place in our community or you would not be able to help all the animals just right. like Ziggy. Right. Yeah, we're very grateful to have a good relationship with the Chattanooga community, especially media outlets like you. Um, it does help us a great deal promoting our brand and um, the work that we do and help our animals find loving homes. Absolutely. Ziggy is such a sweet, sweet. She wanted, he wanted to get down a little bit, folks, and, and go around a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we, we let He's him down a little bit so yeah. he could explore the studio. <laughs> now, if folks would like to come to the event this weekend, how do they do that, Chris? Oh, I'll let Emily go on that one. Tell us, Emily. <laughs> yeah, um, you can buy tickets online and use our code HES23, and you get $3 off, and that you know portion goes to us. So the more tickets that we use with that code, the better. Um, so even if you're not, like if you've never been to a soccer game, now's a good time if you love animals, maybe to try it out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go check out the soccer game. But we want you to adopt Ziggy this morning. He's, he's had enough now. I think he's ready for a nap, <laughs> maybe a is. treat there. But we would love for you to adopt Ziggy this morning and come to the Humane Educational <laughs> Society and adopt him along with the others that are there right now that really need some great homes, folks. They really do. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for being here this Thank morning you, and what you do in our community each and every day to help animals just like Ziggy. Thank you. Thank we you. Appreciate All you. right. If you would like some more information about this interview, please go to our website at WDEF.com. Don't forget the match coming up this weekend and how you can help animals in our community and go adopt Ziggy. Don't forget that. 